Now, the Kakuma refugee camp in northeastern Kenya is home for thousands of refugees fleeing conflict in their home, uh, homeland since 1992. Many were born and raised in the camp, but in spite of the many challenges they face, they have found innovative ways to bring joy to their everyday lives. Africa 54's Esther Gidu Yuwant uh, tells us more. Dressed in school uniform, boys and girls sang and marched through the dry, dusty compound to celebrate the World Refugee Day Saturday, while visiting UNHCR representative to Kenya, Rauf Mazu, called for more efforts to help the refugees achieve their dreams. Refugees who are here in Kenya, and some of whom have been in Kenya for a long period of time, we are about durable solution. We are about trying to make sure that refugees can live normally. The Kakuma refugee camp hosts refugees mainly from neighboring countries fleeing conflict. Some of them are from South Sudan and have come up with creative ways to make life bearable and enjoyable. Among the various artists in the camp is James Okito, a South Sudanese refugee who was forcibly displaced with his family at the age of two. He uses a computer to draw. Art and craft is something I've been inspired to do. You no know, fine guys drawing things, you even try to imagine something, you try to make it in a paper, mm -hmm. try to come it in a way such that mm -hmm. I have seen that it's most interesting and even pleasuring. So you enjoy it, it's something that comes from your heart. Now at 19, Okito hopes his graphic art talent can be fully realized and even secure him a job in the future. Activists from all over the world are trying to help refugees, especially those who decide to remain in Kenya, to turn their talent into sustainable livelihood. Like photoshopping is something very interesting and it's something very uh, professional. Like I've learned from our teachers, they have been doing them in Nairobi there. So they do for, for uh, maybe uh, advertisements. So they even, uh, they, even uh, uh, they print for presidents. So something very, they get salary, so it's, they earns uh, from it. A refugee coordinator, Mr. Dula, hopes this newfound love of art can be sustained and even earn the refugees a living. I want to grow a very strong art community that uh, is able to sustain itself, uh, give these guys um, um, a sustainable way of earning a living, uh, and in the same way um, offer them hope that uh, even though they're in the camps, uh, they're able to do something meaningful with their talent. And as the world rallies together in aid of the refugees, there is a call to governments to create peace for their citizenry. And one can only hope the sorry state of refugees worldwide will be a thing of the past. Esther Gidu Ewart, VOA News, Washington. Well, and that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the mornings today, break Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching from all of us here in Washington. Have a good night.